One of my lizards actually attacked me. He bit me. This is the first time that I have ever been attacked by one of my animals so bad enough that it actually sent me to the hospital and required stitches. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now if you saw the title and thumbnail, you guys are probably wondering, Jacob, what in the heck happened to you? Are you okay? How you're doing? Well, I am doing all right. On Saturday, one of my lizards actually attacked me. He bit me, and he bit me hard enough that it actually sent me to the hospital. I had to get all stitched up. Guys, I had a nasty cut, but that is all I'm going to tell you guys. I'm gonna show you my cut later. I'm gonna show you how it is now. I'm gonna show you the video of when I was attacked by my lizard. Guys, it was absolutely insane. This is the first time that I have ever been attacked by one of my animals so bad enough that it actually sent me to the hospital and required stitches. So guys, if you wanna see the attack video, you wanna see my hand, you wanna know how it's doing, well guys, you are in the right place. But before we do that, we've gotta actually go around the preserve and feed all of the lizards. One hour later. Guys, we're over at the first animal enclosure and I actually got some banana donation. So we're gonna be going around and we're gonna be feeding the lizards some banana treats. I'm gonna show you guys that are new to the channel some of the lizards that I have here on my preserve. We have all different critically endangered iguanas that I breed here from all the different islands. And we're gonna slowly make our way over to the lizard that attacked me. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one did it, but the cut is under this bandage. Now the cut may look like it is potentially small, but it is actually over two inches long and I decided to give him a, a little face so we got some eyes and a nose. Guys, we are going to be taking this bandage off. You guys are gonna get to see the cut. The cut happened on Saturday and today is Tuesday. So it's been a couple of days. It's starting to feel good, but it is still very, very sore. The rhino iguanas are ready. They're active. So let's give them some banana treats first. These guys are gonna go absolutely insane. So watch this right now. With the bananas, you can actually leave the peel on for the lizards. They'll eat right through it. And the peels are actually really healthy. So we're gonna come on through right now. We're just gonna take the banana. We're gonna throw it in and it's gonna be an all out battle for the bananas. There we go. There's one right there. Oh guys, guys, there's a battle. There's a battle going on for the banana, they all got a piece. Now let's head on in. We're going on in to say hi to the, to the lizards right here. And we might get attacked, guys. We might get chased down for some banana. I'm not entirely sure, watch this. We're gonna take this banana here, I'm gonna toss it. And guys, we're gonna have a lizard brawl, a lizard duel. Now these rhino iguanas are going absolutely insane. We might get chased, like I was saying, because they can be quite aggressive when it comes to food. Luna, don't come at me. Guys, I'm honestly, I'm a little bit nervous, guys. Lance, how you feeling? I'm not doing this. Lance is a little bit scared of the iguanas. I've dealt with this before. How you doing, Luna? We got Luna. We got Thing One. We got Dozer. Dozer, go in there. Go in there. They will never see you, man. They'll never see you. Lance has got a banana. The iguanas are going insane. Just stick it in, Lance. Pop it in. Pop it in for them, guys. Ah! Ah! Guys, well, I'm gonna make my way out of here before I get attacked. Now the rhino iguanas have had their treats and it is safe to say that they absolutely loved it. And now the baker eye iguanas, they see the bananas, they smell it, so they're ready to have some of their own. So we're just literally gonna peel this banana open just like this. With these iguanas, they're a little bit smaller. They may not be able to break through the peel super easy, so I'm going to actually peel it for them. But watch this, we're gonna come here and this girl should eat literally right off the banana. Look at that, she's absolutely loving it. Now the male is coming. Here, you want somebody? Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that, that is some yummy good stuff. We got all the iguanas munching on the bananas. And this is just an occasional treat we give them. All the iguanas absolutely love the bananas. And we got this other girl coming in here. These iguanas absolutely love the banana. And they'll actually run out onto my hand right now to come actually get it. Come here, right here. Come on, you gotta walk out here. Look at that. She's walked out and she's just mesmerized by the banana. Come on, come on, further out. Come on, here you go girl, you want it? Oh yeah, that's some yama good stuff. There you go, girl. There you go. Now we're gonna get this other girl right here. Oh, they're coming, they're going. All right, guys, I'm just gonna leave this here with you, okay? Here you go, girl. Now the next iguanas on the list of animals to go to are the Cuban iguanas. I think they've already seen the bananas and they already smell them. Once one of the iguanas gets going with the bananas, they all fire up, they all start going crazy. Now guys, there's only a couple of iguanas left that could have bit me and caused this. So guys, comment down below right now if you think it was the Cubans or the Lewis eye. Which one do you guys think it is? Comment down below right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it was actually Zeno, my Lewis eye hybrid. He's in that enclosure. He's the one that bit me. Guys, you're gonna see the video. It is absolutely insane. But we gotta feed the Cubans first. The Cubans are here. They're waiting at the door and they are ready for their banana. So is Zeno, so is Zeno over there. So we're just gonna peel this open a little bit. Now the Cubans can be a little bit crazy. So we're just gonna drop the banana right there. 
Oh no. They've got one banana. They're absolutely munching now. Since they're eating a banana, I don't actually want to get in the way of them. We're going to put another one back there because we don't want them to run out. If one of them gets possessive over the banana, then the other one is going to chase them. And guys, we don't want to have an iguana chase here at the preserve. So they're just hanging out. Now, these Cuban iguanas are from Cuba. I don't want to bother them while they're eating because, well, I've been bit once and I don't want to get bit twice. Rico and Lola are absolutely loving the banana snacks. You can see they're just chowing down. They're munching. Zeno and Zeno want it. Guys, they're absolutely gorgeous lizards. And their enclosure has actually turned into an absolute jungle. It looks supernatural. There's grass growing in there. They've got grass to hide in. They've got logs and they are absolutely loving it. Rico, I hope you're enjoying your banana snacks. I know you are. And now we're gonna actually put you away. Wait, get that last bite right there. Grab that last bite for me. Will you grab that for me? Thanks, yeah, yeah, grab that before I close the door. Wait, you almost got, buddy, you're supposed to grab it. That was really good, buddy, so we're just gonna close you on in right now, there you go. Enjoy your banana snacks, buddy, enjoy them. There we go, we're locked, we're loaded, and now it is time to go over to Zeno, the iguana that actually bit me. Zeno, how you doing, bud? You gave me stitches, man. I'm all stitched up, buddy. Zeno, how are you doing? You're doing good, Zeno is looking blue, he's looking gorgeous today. Look at his colors. And I'm just gonna give him a little banana treat. Look at those big jaws right there. Those big jaws were latched onto my hand just a little. Zeno and Zena are looking for some food right now. So we're just gonna open the door and I'm gonna take these bananas and just toss them that way. They're gonna go chase them down. They're going absolutely insane. And look how gorgeous Zeno's colors are right now. He's got those blues and that's why they call them the Grand Cayman Blue Iguanas just because of those blue colors. Now I'm gonna actually go in there. I'm gonna pet Zeno. I'm gonna say hi to him. But first, we've gotta let them eat their snacks. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, the iguanas have enjoyed their treats. Now we're just in here. We're going to say hi to them. Zena's just hanging out. Zena's a pretty girl. She's really sweet. She's actually my nicest rock iguana that I have. She's just there hanging out, having a good time. And now we have Zeno. We're going to go say hi to Zeno. This is the first time I've actually been in his enclosure since he attacked me. I'm going to show all of you guys the clip in just a second, but let's come in. Let's say hi to Zeno. How you doing, big boy? So Zeno is actually shedding. And the reason why I got bit is because I was actually here pulling the shed off. Now, so generally speaking, these lizards actually love to be, have their shed peeled off. So I came to actually pull his shed off and he latched onto my hand. Guys, I'm going to show you the video right now. Here it is. Check out the video. Watch it. And you're going to see it right now. It's happening. I'm not even sure how long the video is. It's like six seconds. There you go. There Here's the video. He bit me and he got me pretty good. Now I'm gonna have to blur part of the video out because it shows actually a bunch of blood. But hi, what are you doing girl? You wanna come to me? She's being real friendly right now, but I am being pretty cautious just because they've been a little bit crazy lately. So I don't wanna bother them too much, but that is the video right there. We're just leaving the Lewis Eye enclosure right now. And now the moment all of you have been waiting for guys. Well, we're gonna head inside. I'm gonna show you my wound and we're going to treat it. Well, we're outside now. I just washed my hands and actually washed the cut off since we were actually touching some of the lizards. And because they live outside, well, I don't want my wound to get infected. Now I'm sure everyone has been waiting for this very moment, the moment where I'm going to reveal the cut. Guys, he's got a face and we're going to reveal it right now. One, two, three. There is my cut right there. It was a seriously nasty cut. It actually required nine stitches. And my uncle's actually in town from Colorado and his girlfriend is a doctor. So I actually got stitched up at my grandma's house. She brought a stitching kit with her and I actually got stitched up with no numbing. It did not feel too good, but this is the wound right here. And it's honestly looking really good. And this is not the lizard's fault. I was petting the lizard and I put myself in a position where he could bite me. I should have been petting him from up top. I went from the side and that right there is what happened. This is the first animal bite and hopefully the last one that is going to require stitches. I've got a full life ahead of me living with the animals. So honestly, guys, I don't think this is going to be the last time, but hopefully one of very few times that this is going to happen. So not only am I taking an antibiotic so Stitch Face does not get infected, well, I've also got this really good cream right here. I'm sure you guys are going to be uh, praying for me. So guys, comment down below a prayer for my hand because guys, if it gets really badly infected, well, guys, I might have to chop my hand off. I'm just kidding. We're not going to have to amputate my hand, but we do want to make sure that it stays germ-free, infection-free. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. Hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video. It's absolutely crazy to me that I got my first animal bite requiring stitches. 
But it is what it is. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for Stitch Face. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see more iguanas, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell. And you all be notified whenever I post.